finding your frequency, where we meet people, find out who they are, where they're headed, and what success looks like. I'm Brian Sexton, joined by Mac Holly, and today we have Rusty Williams from Fantastic Floors. Hey, Rusty, how are you? Good. How are you too? Right. Doing great. Good. Thank you, Brian. Good nice to see, to see you. you. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, big picture, right? Fantastic Floors. Retail, commercial, what do you do? We actually work with new construction. We work with a lot of local real estate investors in their flip houses and their rental stuff. And we also do uh, have two of the nicest design centers in the state of Florida, and we do a lot of retail work. So we're diversified. Have you been in the business a long time, or is this something with the construction boom in the last 10, 12 years you decided was a niche opportunity? No, sir. I've been in the flooring business ever since uh, high school, uh, just out of high school. Wow. And so for about 22 years now, uh, but I have Fantastic Floors has been around for 15. Okay. How have you seen the, the flooring business change? And not just in materials, although that's a big part of it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The flooring business has grown uh, in a lot just because of the demographics and all the people coming to Northeast Florida. Um, but we have definitely seen the move to the pet industry as it continues to grow. Yeah. Uh, f the type of floors that you put down are very important uh, to fit your lifestyle. Okay. Pets, kids, sports, living. And so we've seen the floors try to ramp their game up to, to meet those needs. What's the hottest product in your showroom? Uh, the luxury vinyl plank is the hottest product out. It is, uh, it's waterproof um, and so uh, it's very durable and it's affordable as well. Fits the Florida lifestyle? It does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you said you've been in business for 15 years with Fantastic Floors. Yes, sir. So what's the future look like? I mean, it, it, you have two locations. You said they're the nicest showrooms in Florida. I don't doubt that. Where are you headed with it? Uh, so I have a vision for at least four locations uh, and maybe another commercial spot uh, to uh, maybe some warehousing to service uh, the, the logistics side of the material and, and, and feed those stores. Look, I'm a football broadcaster, but I'm married to a realtor, right? So I kind of have a <laughs> sense of, of where opportunity is in North Florida. The reason that I ask you about the future is because it sure seems like the future is still growth oriented. Oh, absolutely. So St. John's County is yeah. the number one growing county in the state. Number two is Nassau County. So, uh, and in and, and Clay County, where I live, is, is booming as well. So, uh, again, if, you, if you're in Northeast Florida right now, construction will be hot. Uh, the housing market should be hot. And uh, there should be a lot of opportunity out there. I know you don't expect this, but I'm actually going to shut up and let Mac talk. <laughs> what are some broadcast, of the challenges right? you face, Rusty? I mean, you sound like you're going to get a really good growth trend going. What are some of the challenges? Uh, challenges in our business is just it's ever changing. Uh, you know, there's just so many variables. Uh, even with the LVP, you know, we deal with moisture and crawl space and encapsulation. Mm -hmm. If it's not done properly, it affects us. And right. so, uh, you know, just construction can be challenging in general. Interesting. What mm -hmm. about labor? Is it easy to find people these days? I hear that can be a real issue. Uh, so we do have a great labor force. I've been in the business now over 20 years. So, uh, and I always kind of say I've made enough relationships. We're some of the highest paying, uh, as far as a re residential floor store, we're some of the highest paying. So that okay. helps as well. But installers always seem to follow the work. Mm -hmm. What inspired you to start your own company? To be honest with you, uh, it was, you know, what did they say? Necessity is the mother of invention. Uh, I just, I was the employer I was working for, uh, we just kind of didn't see eye to eye on some things. And so okay. anyway, I felt like it was my time to start my own. Spun and did it out. Yes, so, sir. What do you think the time frame is to hit your goal? You said you want to add four, or have a total of four locations. You have one now? Uh, no, sir. I have one in Clay County in, or in Orange Park, and then I have another one off 210 in St. John's County. Okay. So I would like to have at least four locations over the next seven years. Gotcha. Is that a matter of just finding the people that you think can, can grow with you? The space isn't hard. The business isn't hard. Uh, if, you want, if you want growth and you want to scale your business, you better find the talent. Yeah. And that, that is the most challenging thing as far as scaling the business to be bigger. Gotcha. Interesting. Not necessarily the installation side. The installers will follow the work, especially if you're one of the higher paying. Okay. It's finding the talent, the guys to go out and sell the jobs, build the yeah. book of business. You got to find those those yeah. people are harder to find. What's the challenge between commercial work, like working for the regional or national builders versus retail? Uh, well, each, each job's, you know, dealing with one job. It, you're just a, a, a customer and trying to perform a that their their job and make them happy uh, is a little bit easier. You're just dealing with one project, uh, dealing with a, a national builder. We do a couple of like neighborhoods. Uh, man, we had a uh, we had a huge spike in business. I bet we did a hundred homes in a, about a thirty day period, wow. and it just uh, it can get it can get uh, it, it can, can become a lot. Hmm. How has this whole inflation thing impacted your business in terms of driving your costs and 
product price up. A lot of times what we've seen is we can't, during this process is you might have record growth, but you might also uh, start losing margin because you can't keep up with the, 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 well, the cost is going up so fast that you're not keeping up with the freight, the additional freight charges, Uh, the fuel surcharges, the price increases. And so you got to be, you know, in 2022, we had a record gross year, but our profit margin was down about 2%. Mm -hmm. And it was because it was just, it it was just hard to keep up with. Gotcha. Gotcha. When you look um, at Fantastic Floors, right? You, You talked about the locations, you talked about the product, you talked about the crews. What is it that sets your business apart? Why is Fantastic Floors the best place for people to come for all of the things that they need for their home? I'll answer the question with something that most Floridians can relate to. We are almost like the Publix and the Chick-fil-A of the flooring industry. All right. You know, I don't, you know, I don't mind going to Publix or Chick-fil-A. I like, I like the quality and I like the service. So if you want to go get your floors done by a reputable company, first quality goods, back with the warranty and everything and have that umbrella supported, you know, by our name, uh, we're the place to come to. So success for you into the future is your brand being seen as the absolute pinnacle of where to go to make sure that your home is exactly what you want it to be from a flooring perspective. Absolutely. So that, you know, and and that's where I'm at in my life. I don't go with the cheapest quote. I I go with a fair price, but I want to go with somebody that's reputable, that's honest, that I like to do business with. And we want to be that for the flooring industry. Which is exactly why we have you here today. Rusty Williams, thanks Thanks so much. Appreciate you being with us. We'll have you back. Absolutely. Thank Thank you, sir. Appreciate Appreciate it. it. Yes, sir. That'll do it for this edition of Finding Your Frequency.